Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and today we're on to pseudoscientist number 10, who is Mitchell from Australia. Now, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, he doesn't actually upload that often. This is especially weird given that he paid YouTube to promote his last video and hasn't made another video since. I don't know what he's trying to do here. He's a flat earther. Anyway, let's go over one of his old videos then. I'm Mitchell from Australia, and being from Australia, I get called the dumbest of the dumb flat earthers. This is because the Globers say that Southern Star Rotation debunks the flat earth. Well, it's not just Southern Star Rotation that debunks the flat earth. It's the fact that there are two celestial poles, the north one and the south one, and stars rotate around each of them. In the southern hemisphere, you cannot see the north celestial pole. In the northern hemisphere, you cannot see the south celestial pole. This is exactly what we would expect to see on a globe, but you wouldn't expect to see that on a flat earth. But this argument is going to be your downfall, globe believers, because on your model, stars aren't actually rotating, are they? It's the Earth rotating underneath the stars. And you asserting that you're on that rotating Earth, looking up at the stars, making the stars appear to be rotating, not actually rotating. Wow, well, Flat Earth have finally got something right for once. It must be the 30th of February. Yes, it is the Earth that rotates, and seeing as we're rotating with the Earth, the stars appear to be rotating. Congratulations. Just like this demonstration, of a drone leaving the rotating reference frame of a roundabout. And he's back to getting things wrong again. You cannot leave a reference frame. In the example provided, the drone is still within the rotating reference frame, it's just moving in the rotating reference frame. From the rotating reference frame, it appears that the drone is deviating. But as we can see, the drone just goes up and hovers. It doesn't go anywhere. Well, this all comes down to the reference frame that you use. If you have a reference frame that is moving past the drone, then in that reference frame, the drone would be moving. And if you use a reference frame that is independent of the rotation of the Earth, then in that reference frame, the drone would also be moving. But what this also demonstrates is what we observe from the inertial reference frame while looking at another thing in the inertial reference frame. But what this also demonstrates is what we observe at rest in an inertial reference frame while looking at another thing at rest in that inertial reference frame. This drone is in the inertial reference frame and the camera looking at the drone and the roundabout is also in the inertial reference frame. So as you can see, when viewing something else in the inertial reference frame from the inertial reference frame, the drone is no longer appearing to move. He's still not understanding reference frames. Is the whole argument going to rely on him misrepresenting reference frames to say that the Earth is flat, is it? I suppose this is to be expected, seeing as flat Earthers do love to pretend that they know the science when they really don't. So let's take another look at the stars. And this time, we're going to leave the asserted rotating reference frame of the Earth and enter the inertial reference frame above the Earth. These stars are already in the inertial reference frame. So when we view from the drone entering the inertial reference frame, the stars should not move. Just like when we see the drone in the inertial reference frame, it does not move. But we still see the stars moving. Why? Why? I'm at a loss for words. His argument is, if you go up above the Earth, you don't see the stars not moving. That's his entire argument. I'm not even going to bother with turning the camera on for now. That, that can just stay off. I'm dumbfounded. And his whole argument stems from him thinking that a reference frame is a place that exists when... No, it's not. It's not a place that exists. Just like his brain. If it were actually Earth rotation, making the stars appear to rotate, then when we leave the spinning Earth, 
we wouldn't see this. The stars should stay still. But yet, they keep spinning. It's because you're still moving with the Earth. How do you not understand this? Oh wait, you're a flat Earther, of course you don't understand it. But this also applies to all celestial bodies. Because you ballers assert that the sun sets and rises, also due to Earth rotation, so let's view the sun from the inertial reference frame. The drone has left the rotating reference frame of the Earth, but yet the sun still appears to set. We go up again, and the sun sets again. The sun sets because the drone is moving with the Earth, you absolute muppet. Conservation of momentum is a thing. That's why if you're on a moving train, let's say, and you jump, you don't just smack into the back wall. If you're moving on a roundabout, let's say, and you jump on it, you retain the momentum from moving on that roundabout. Air resistance can slow you down, of course, but that has nothing to do with reference frames. That's just air resistance. This is not caused by Earth rotation because the Earth is not actually rotating. It is the sun that is moving. And this observation absolutely demolishes Earth rotation. Well, it doesn't. I can very easily explain it using the globe. But here's a better question. How is that supposed to work on a flat Earth? It's easy enough to say, oh, that doesn't work on a globe because me no understand. But that doesn't explain how it works on a flat Earth. And you can't just say perspective because that doesn't actually explain anything. Perspective is just a word that flat Earthers try to use to get out of having to explain why things disappear bottom first. And it most certainly doesn't explain things like star trails on the southern hemisphere, which this video doesn't even come close to explaining. This is going to be a hard one for you ballers to digest because these are your arguments of star rotations and sunsets debunking your own assertion of Earth spinning. No, those aren't our arguments. It's actually a blatant misunderstanding of our arguments. You have not understood a single thing about our arguments. But Mitchell, do you remember earlier in the video when you said this? I get called the dumbest of the dumb. You know you didn't have to make a video proving the people that say that correct, right? You could have just ignored them. It's not a challenge, okay? It's not good for my mental health if you treat it like it is, or even my physical health. My head still hurts from the face palm earlier. But anyway, I think that is certainly enough Mitchell for today. So, leave a like and subscribe if you like this video, and leave a comment letting me know who you think is going to be in the next video. As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons. Hugh Jars, MC Nutkin, Mori, Vermont1777, Tony C, Rosina Keller, Wolfie, Kid Vicious, Sacha Campbell, definitely not NASA, Craig D'Amelio, Richard M. Chapman, Kaylee, and Fist Wizard. If you want to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon. There should be a link there, or you could buy me a coffee. I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching.